What more bizarre world could there be than that of the love has one cult? Imagine a spiritual group led by a charismatic woman, Amy Carlson, who was no less than a mother god to her followers. Born in 1975, Amy led an ordinary life until she found New Age spirituality, renamed herself Mother God, and became a cult leader with a following of around 20 devotees. She claimed to be a divine being on a mission to save humanity, and her followers believe her to be a reincarnation of various significant figures, including Jesus Christ and Cleopatra. The group emerged in the early 2000s, promising spiritual healing and ascension, but behind the promise of spiritual enlightenment lurked a darker reality. Former members recount tales of harsh living conditions, deprivation of sleep, and public shaming sessions known as corrections. The group faced allegations of brainwashing, physical and emotional abuse, and financial exploitation. One former member recalls, the teachings seemed so profound at first, but soon it turned into a living nightmare. We were under constant surveillance and corrections were a daily occurrence. Experts on cult behavior provide insights into how such groups operate. Cults like Love Has Won prey on vulnerable individuals, offering them a sense of belonging and purpose, says Dr. Alexandra Stein, a social psychologist specializing in cults. The charismatic leaders employ manipulative techniques to gain control over their followers, often leading to disastrous consequences. The bizarre and disturbing world of Love Has Won reached a shocking climax in April 2021, when Amy Carlson was found deceased under mysterious circumstances. Her mummified body, wrapped in a sleeping bag and adorned with Christmas lights, was discovered in a rural Colorado home. Her followers continued to display her body, claiming she was in a state of stasis, and would eventually resurrect. The death of Amy Carlson brought the extreme beliefs and practices of love has won into the harsh light of reality. Several members faced charges related to abuse of a corpse and child abuse, as two minors were found in the home at the time of the discovery. The Love Has Won saga serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of extreme spiritual movements. It is a chilling testament to the power of charisma and manipulation, illustrating how easily individuals can be led astray by promises of spiritual enlightenment and a sense of belonging. As we delve into the bizarre world of love has won, we must remember to question, to think critically, and to be vigilant of those who would exploit our longing for connection and meaning for their own nefarious purposes.